So today is our second day in Hoi An. We have a tour booked through Viator to go to the coconut forest on a basket boat. And I think we're also doing crab fishing. I told them not to pick us up till 10 a.m., which is really nice. So we had a little bit of extra sleep today. I booked our basket boat tour through Viator and this cost us £10.48 each, including pickup from our hotel. This was so much fun and probably one of our favourite activities we did in Vietnam. Our new look for 2024. <laughs> I actually really love it, it's really keeping the sun off. This is so much fun, look how good the weather is as well. I don't think you can see, it's not focusing, but we've got bright blue skies and it's so hot. After a relaxing ride through the coconut forest, we then watched some traditional fishing, followed by some crazy basket boat performances. We ended up paying 100,000 dong to be spun around to Gangnam style. This was hilarious, but watching these videos back, it definitely felt worse than it looked. We did feel quite dizzy afterwards, but we just had to do it while in Hoi An. We then tried crab fishing. I have to admit, I wasn't too great at this and I kept dropping the crabs back in the water. The crab's on it. Is it? Yeah. Don't lose it. Sorry there. Oh no. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> So we were actually only on the basket boats for about 45 minutes. So afterwards we came back and we chilled by the pool for a little while. And then we decided to get a shuttle to the beach. So the hotel actually does run free shuttles to the beach and it dropped us at Esco Beach Bar, which was super lovely. It had some beds overlooking the beach and we had such good weather. Esco Beach is on a quiet part of An Bang Beach and it only took about 20 minutes to get there from our hotel. Guests from Hoi An Odyssey Hotel get 10% off at the restaurant and it's free to use the facilities such as the sunbeds when purchasing food and drink. I think I mentioned before, the hotel also does have pedal bikes that are free to use, but there aren't any helmets and I'm a bit of a safety freak, so I didn't fancy doing that. Also, didn't really fancy riding on the roads with the peds. To be fair, the roads are nowhere near as chaotic as Hanoi. They're okay, but I wasn't confident enough to do that. But it is really lovely to have that option and it's so nice seeing people cycle everywhere. We actually didn't use the free shuttle to get back to the beach. We actually ordered a grab and that cost us, I think, 78,000 dong, just because we didn't really want to wait around for the shuttle when we wanted to leave. We actually got the grab to drop us in the town because we were heading to a bank to get some money out with Western Union. That was super easy to do and the rate was really good. I did say yesterday that the cash point didn't charge us any fee for taking money out so that is also super good. I did double check on WISE so we use a WISE card to get money out and they still haven't added a fee so that's great but it's also really good to have the Western Union option. The bank is via Tim Bank and it's right in the old town. I always find going to banks when you're abroad really funny because there's lots of tourists out and about but when you get into a bank it is like real life Vietnamese life very few people speak English you get some very funny looks the security are always really confused but actually it was so easy the person we spoke to spoke English so we got some more cash out which is great because using card a lot of the time there is a fee I think it's a three percent charge cash is the best option but then we did literally spend it within minutes because we headed into the tailors opposite which is called BB tailors and has really good reviews online and Jack has decided and has ordered a tailored suit which I'm a bit worried about fitting in the suitcase I do think it is going to get quite creased we are pretty much at the weight limit and our suitcase is barely shut as you saw one of them has broken
After we entered the tailors, we were greeted straight away by the lovely staff. We told them we wanted to design a suit for Jack and they sat us down and showed us lots of different photos on an iPad of different suit styles. We ended up choosing one from a photo of David Beckham. However, there were so many options and we could have put together aspects from multiple different suits. We then chose the fabric type and color and then the lining for the suit jacket. We could also choose the buttons of the suit and the finer details. They took Jack's measurements and then they told us to come back the next day for a suit fitting and to make adjustments. I'm really excited to see what it turns out like and what the quality's like. Neither of us have ever had anything tailored before, so it's so exciting, but also so exciting that he's done it in Hoi An. So they did his measurements, but they will do final adjustments on how it fits on him tomorrow. And then they said they can make the adjustments within an hour to two hours because we then fly the next morning to Ho Chi Minh. So it's actually amazing that it's literally gonna be ready within 24 hours. But anyway, plan of action for the rest of today. It is around 7 p.m. now. We're going to head back into the old town we're gonna to go back to the markets get some dinner i also think we might go on one of the lantern boats tonight they look so pretty and i feel like we have to do it while we're here We're currently on the boat down the river. It costs 150,000 dong for the two of us to get in and then about 20 dong each for a lantern. Although she has given us loads of lanterns since so we need to give her a big tip. We're about to get on now. So it is the next evening now. We actually spent today at Banar Hills which will be in the next vlog. On the way back from there, we went back into BB Taylor's or actually I think it's pronounced Bebe Taylor's. Jack tried on his suit and got the adjustments made. The experience was brilliant and you'll see from the clips we had someone with us the whole time to help make some suggestions and make adjustments to the suit based on how it fit Jack. The quality of the suit is incredible and also the attention to detail. I think we ended up going with the most expensive material which is so typical and for the tailored jacket and tailored trousers it came to 7 million 5,000 dong which is equivalent to around 225 pounds which we think is so good for a completely tailored suit. They made it in under 24 hours which I think is so amazing and they could have actually done it a bit quicker but we told them we were out all day at Banar Hills and wouldn't be back till the evening so when we went in there Jack tried it on then they pinned the adjustments and then went and made those adjustments and then he tried it on again and then what's even more amazing we don't even have to go and pick it up they're actually going to send it to our hotel and it should be here within the next hour honestly myself and Jack are pretty clueless when it comes to suits there were so many people in there getting dresses fitted suits fitted shirts and they were making so many demands about how it fit like saying that the armpits too tight and things like that but me and Jack just don't know about these things but anyway they were so helpful they recommended he did different movements in it he sat down he crossed his legs they also gave him some shoes <laughs> some very giant clown shoes to try on with the suit see how it looked with those and see what the length looked like we are just so pleased with how it looks we are also so impressed with the service and we couldn't recommend bb bebe tailors enough if you stay in hoi an odyssey hotel it's just over the bridge into the old town if you carry on going straight it's on the right hand side there are so many tailors and there are lots of little ones as well but this one is like a big shop i've just googled it as well and it says there are over 500 tailor shops within walking distance to hoi an that is so crazy so the suit has arrived i'm not going to take it out of the suit bag because it's really nicely packaged and we need to get it on the flight tomorrow oh it's not really showing up <laughs> it's showing up black on camera but i didn't show the lining before so i'm just showing how cool the lining is it is very fancy 
it's a bluey navy colour but it's so nice just look at the stitching and how good the detail is there it is really heavy though and we are already at the weight limit on the flight and also we don't really want to put this in the suitcase so i think we're gonna try <laughs> and just get it on as additional hand luggage this is it all folded up in the suit bag let me know in the comments if you think we'll get away with taking this as extra hand luggage 